Hello, I'm Retro Jules, and welcome to World of Tanks. I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update as to what I'm doing with my tanking and where I'm going with it. I've just recently finished playing all the light tanks in the game. Well, I'm currently on the last one. I'm on the Russian Tier 8 T-54 LTWT, the lightweight, which I'm yeah, really getting on with. It's a decent tank. I don't think I'll be keeping it, but I'm looking forward to getting to the T-54 medium after it. And I've also kept my AMX 1390. Not really because I'm heading for the bat chat. I, I was originally heading for the bat chat, but in a recent update, of course, we've got the AMX 31er and the 30B and decided to go down that route because I didn't really fancy playing the Lorraine. Um, I'm not keeping the 1390 because I like it. It's OK. But when you've played the 12T, the 1375 and the 1390, they get a little bit samey. And I can't help thinking that when I get, or if I get to the tier 10 bat chat, it's going to be more of the same. And I just don't know whether that gameplay is going to suit me, really. So what I'm doing now is I'm moving on to the mediums. Now I've still got plenty of lights to review. I have some favourite lights. I still love the Walker Bulldog. And I absolutely love the Speer Panzer 1C. That's probably one of my favourite light tanks. And I've got some others to, to, to go back to play and do some reviews for you um, and but with the mediums I'm really enjoying the Shermans at the moment I've really loved the M4 the Easy 8 I've really enjoyed playing that too and now I'm going to focus on the Sherman Jumbo and at the request of Dominic Camper I'm going to be working on the M6 American Heavy to review because uh, he's asked me to do that and yeah, I've got a bit of work to do with that tank because I'm not doing too well in it. But I've got it in my garage. I've hardly ever played it. So it's time to go back and get stuck in and see what that tank's all about. I'm sort of at tier 9 really with the mediums. And that's not because I've played them all. It's because that's where I've got to with, with quite a few tank lines. I'm going to backtrack and play other mediums in the game. But I'm playing the AMX 31er at tier 9, the French medium. And I've got one last package to go with that tank, which unlocks the really smart looking turret. I'm really getting on with this tank. It's nice and quick. It seems to have fairly decent gun depression. Not amazing, but good enough. And out of the box, it's got a pretty decent cannon. And the second package, which doesn't take long to get to, has got the best cannon, um, which is awesome. So that that's turning out to be quite a nice tank to play, and I'm pretty confident in it because I've bought four types of camouflage for it too so it's got to be good for me to do that. I'm also playing the Leopard Prototype, the German tier 9 median, which I'm struggling with a little bit. It's a hell of a grind. I've unlocked the first package which gives you the speed and then I've got another 80 odd thousand XP to go to get the cannon which it really really needs because the cannon on it is dreadful and the thing I'm struggling with this tank a little bit is its lack of gun depression It's really quite poor but it's the most one of the most accurate tanks I've played in the game so I'm, I'm hoping when I get the big gun it's all gonna come together I could also unlock the Chinese WZ120 tier 9 medium but because I'm sort of grinding through the Leopard, working my way through the AMX 31er. I just don't fancy grinding another medium tank at the moment. So I'm just, it's its all ready to go. I, I could buy it tomorrow. It's all un unlocked, but no, not going there at the moment. And um, like I said, there's, a, there's other mediums at lower tiers I, I want to sort of catch up on. I'd like to play the German E50. And um, I'm grinding through the Comet and I'm not enjoying the Comet at, at all. I really enjoyed the Cromwell but the Comet I'm just struggling a bit with, not having an awful lot of love for it but I want to work my way to the Centurions um, to earn those. I, I've got some heavies in my garage too, two of which the American T29 and Tiger 2 being my absolute favourites and I will go back to playing heavies when I've sort of 
got to grips with the mediums a little bit more. I started out on this game a little bit naive and went straight into the big heavy brawlers and just got a little bit frustrated of light tanks and medium tanks taking the mickey, circling around me, taking advantage of my big bulky slow tank and um, that's kind of where I left the heavies but um, you know I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start playing them again and start reviewing them because reviewing the heavies is, is, is really good fun because it's just you can start talking about armor for the first time because I've done my light tank reviews I'm not being able to talk about armor at all because they don't have any and medium tanks well they have a bit but it's not really that effective and so you don't tend to talk about that so much you sort of mention it but when I get to the heavies um, I did do a review on my AMX 5120 and quite enjoyed doing that. I've not touched the Japanese tanks at all. I've got this tier 1 Japanese tank sat in my garage, not doing anything. I've seen these new Japanese giant heavies coming in and haven't done anything about that either. And that's what I love about this game. I've got, currently in my garage, I've got 44 tanks. I've got plenty of tanks and I've got loads of different directions to go in. I've even got a couple of artilleries that I play every now and again for a slightly more chilled out game. But uh, I will get into the Japanese tanks at one stage, but just not touch them at the moment. And also time's been a bit of an issue just just lately. I've I've not had enough time I never had enough time to run the Centennial tank. Quite quite fancied that with its barbed wire all over it. I'm not gonna have enough time to get one of the monster tanks, which is a little bit of a shame because I quite like the look of Craft's Panther. That looked really, really good. But you know what with working, living, playing tanks, making videos, it's quite a balance just to get everything right and unfortunately at the moment it's the playing tanks that's taken a bit of a back seat because working living whatever that entails and making the videos is kind of getting precedence at the minute so um, what, what I'm trying to do you know don't worry I'm gonna churn these videos out I'm, I try to do one a week if not I do try to do one every two weeks I'm sticking with it guys and just thought I'd let you know exactly where I am with my tanking career and uh, just keep you updated so keep safe keep tanking and I'll see you soon Mission accomplished. 